The Your Bizarre Adventure Halloween update is practically rigged and I'm gonna be showing you why and how you can actually take advantage of it. So as some of you know, Your Bizarre Adventure released the Halloween update and returns a candy mechanic from last year. In case you're unfamiliar with the system, basically you obtain candies and trade them for items. Now there are three ways to obtain candies. Winning 1v1s, placements in the steel ball run, and finding them around the map. And two of these methods are absolutely rigged. The first method we're gonna be looking at is the 1v1s. For a single 1v1, you get one candy. The average time for a 1v1 match is around 2-3 to three minutes, so we'll just say 2. But it can go up to 8 minutes in some cases. Assuming you're an average player, your win ratio should be 1-2, to two, meaning that you win once every 2 matches. But that's not even accurate because it doesn't take other factors like taking too long to load that you get killed or bumping into a broken stand or any of the other thousands of scenarios where the game is just straight up unfair in consideration but we'll go with a ratio of 1 to 2 for the sake of consistency so a match every 2 minutes with a win ratio of 1 to 2 that means 15 candies per hour except even that is not true it doesn't take into consideration the loading times which takes approximately 1 minute 1 minute seems pretty insignificant, but 1 minute every single match decreases the candy per hour to 10 candies per hour. And again, that's not even taking into consideration the amount of unbalanced game mechanics or getting the Can I get a free win? than run their own kind of players, which are more common than normal players. So 10 candies per hour is an extremely generous amount if you don't know life's a game. Next up is Steel Ball Run. Now, as you all know, there are two types of Steel Ball Run. The Casual Steel Ball Run or the Competitive Steel Ball Run. According to the Your Bizarre Adventure wiki, in the Casual Steel Ball Run you get 6 candies for 1st place, 3 for 2nd and 1 for 3rd. And in the Competitive Steel Ball Run you get 10 for 1st, 5 for 2nd and an oddly specific 3 to 4 for 3rd. And the wiki says it is the most effective way. <laughs> no! I mean, sure, it pays the most, but... An average match takes approximately 15 minutes to complete start to finish. That's if you're lucky enough you don't have to wait like 20 minutes for everyone to join. If they ever will. So let's say with loading times, players joining and every other steel ball run shenanigan, let's say one full attempt takes around 20 minutes average, which is not even true. But hey, it's easier to calculate, so that means you get 3 attempts per hour. An average player's win ratio in this case is 1 to 15. That's if you don't get teamed on by the most broken stands in the game, or die due to the lag of 16 players summoning their stands at the same second, or encounter like 100 exploiters that make the game absolutely impossible. Even if you are skilled enough, it is incredibly unfair in most cases. But sure, you can pull through, it's not impossible, I mean a lot of people do it. But it's not even worth it! Eliminations don't count, so you basically get in a 1v1 with 15 other players without the reward. To get top 3 at least, you'd have a ratio of 1 to 13. Meaning that approximately every 4.3 hours, you get 5 pieces of candy. Or 9 if you're playing competitively. You can say, but oh, I can just hide or use strategies or team like the disgusting peasant I am. Every other player has the same choices to utilize different strategies just like you do, meaning that you're never at an advantage with anything more than pure skills or exploits. So for the last method, item spawns. I used a private server and I grinded it for one hour, so we're 49 minutes in and I think I disconnected. Please let me have it, please. <laughs> So it turns out my internet stopped working, which is why I'm making this video so late while everyone and their grandma made a video on it. Please like this video so it doesn't die, YouTube is very mean to me. Continuing where we left off, I'm gonna wait 20 minutes to let the item spawn. Alright, so I grinded for 10 more minutes and the amount of candy we got in one hour of grinding is... 33 candies! The average seems to be around 30 candies per hour, from my experience at least. Now, if you're doing that on weekends with double item Item spawns that's 60 candies per hour but what if we use a public server oh, hell no, man. What the 
Well, considering there are around 18 to 20 people, we'll just say 18 per server. And assuming there are no exploiters farming the candies, which spoiler alert, they're on every server. That means that on average, you're gonna get 1 18th of the 30 candies that spawn, which sums up to 1.5 candies per hour. But hey, you get three candies if it's on double spawn. Okay, so let's go over the statistics. 1v1s get you around 10 candies per hour. SBR casual gets you around 1.1 candies per hour. SBR competitive gets you around 2.1 candies per hour. Public servers, three candies per hour. Private servers, 60 candies per hour. Point is, the only way you can win in this event is if you either no life the game to get better than like 80% of players or buy a private server. Personally, I use a private server of any random guy I have added, but that's beside the point. The devs either get more playtime or more private server purchases, which means more money. And the reward everyone is aiming for is obviously the lucky arrow for 100 points. To go over the statistics again, to get a lucky arrow using 1v1s, you'd need 10 hours. SBR casual, 100 hours. SBR competitive, 50 hours. Public servers, 33 hours. And finally, to get one lucky arrow in a private server alone, you'd need 1.6 hours. As you can see, this event is not just difficult, it's straight up rigged. Or I mean, you can make the argument that they're trying to keep the value of skins alive by keeping the stock low and the demand high, so that the whole your bizarre adventure economic system doesn't crumble upon itself. But if you do make that argument, I will make unnecessary comments about your mother, so just accept this event as rigged for your own good. Anyways, this video was absolutely not easy to make and my brain is fried because I used basic mass a bit too much. With that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.